So, Carmela, let me ask you a quick question. Can I work with you today? How do you feel if I give you a gentle little checkup? Would that be okay if I work with you today? All right, I'm going to take that as a yes. a yes. Today we have Carmela licking my face. Hi, Carmela. Talk about bonding. We're already getting to know each other. And this is Joy. Joy is Carmela's mom. Carmela is a 13-year-old toy poodle. Toy poodle, correct. And what do we know about her? So, um, I've how long have you had? I've her? had Carmela since she was born. Mm -hmm. I had both her parents, and I allowed them to uh, mate and have her. Uh, so she's been with me quite a while. She is generally healthy. She has experienced some eye issues. Um, she cannot see out of her left eye. She has a detached lens there. And then on her right eye, she's dealing with a case of glaucoma. So she receives eye drops every day for that. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, she's just had some spine issues like with arthritis, deteriorating cartilage, um, which was inherited. My, um, her mother had that issue as well. And so I, I thought it would be good for her to, you know, see a specialist like yourself. Oh, thank uh, you. With, you know, her, her, her spine and hopefully we can just make some adjustments and allow her to be uh, a little bit more comfortable. She kind of roams at night. Mm -hmm. She can't get settled sometimes. So I'm hoping to alleviate that. All right, good, good. Um, move in as close as you can with the camera when she's looking at the camera so you can see the cloudiness of her eyes because I think Fine, people need to learn about that. Oh, Sorry. she just went into a comfy position. Let's just stand her up one more time. And you could see the cloudy, the milky color. And, um, you know, some dogs deal with that in their senior years. And she's definitely a senior, but look how lovely you are. So, Carmela, let me ask you a quick question. Can I work with you today? How do you feel if I give you a gentle little checkup? Would that be okay if I work with you today? All right, I'm gonna take that as a yes. a yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. And I just like to check sometimes because I feel like, you know, whatever languages dogs understand, um, they also can kind of feel if, if you're just being respectful and asking permission to be in their space. And conversely, animals whether they're dogs cats horses and you'll see me work with on my videos they can definitely tell when they don't want someone in their space so i don't assume that she wants me in her space until i kind of give her a chance to acclimate to my presence uh to you know the gesture of me just asking is you know cute in one regard but it's actually very serious like i'm really i really am asking i'm asking if i can you know maybe touch her and, and, and get in on some spots. Okay, she's, she's saying, will you be quiet already and just start working? I think that's what she's saying. So I want to just start up here. One thing I noticed when she first came into the office is that her jaw looked a little bit like pulled this way, here. And here, I'll do it. And then I saw her yawn and it didn't come up clean. It came up a little deviated. I'll try to do it with my face, watch. So that's like a, a little bit of a TMJ. And so I'm gonna do that adjustment first and mostly she has to look at mom. So mm -hmm. let's turn. Carmen, can you look at the camera? Can you look straight? Okay, there you so go. here I'm on the little TMJ and I'm gonna just wiggle it side to side and just feel for the space. And it's a little tight on the left so I'm gonna do a sustained push. So I'm not gonna like jam it. I mean, she's so, well, without, She's a little fragile, okay? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say fragile, but she's a little fragile because I don't know if that will hurt her feelings. So the reason she's looking here is because this eye is the one that she oh. has. Do you want me to move over there? Mm, uh, no, because they can see me now work on the TMJ. So okay. I'm just massaging it first. I found the exact little articulation that I need. And I'm going to do a little impulse. Got it. And she's looking a little bit, so that's good. A little better. And that's just a little guiding it. What I did is I went in, I'll do it more strong on me, but I'm pushing it this way. And um, because it was deviated. Now I'm gonna look for the atlas, and I'm at the atlas now. Carmen, sorry. 
Here, let's turn this way. Okay. And she's a little tight on the left, left atlas. So now I'm going to um, do a little, and this might make her go, Ooh, but, oh, I missed it. Got it. All right. Good girl. Let's just let her integrate that. So what I did was it was a left superior atlas. The atlas moved up towards the occiput. And she's she can move around, let her feel that. Okay. Was that okay, what we just did? Okay. And then I kind mm -hmm. of pulled it down a little bit because it was wedged up against the occiput. Now let me check the spacing that I just did. Okay, perfect. So they're, they're even now, which is what I wanted. Now I'm going to come down the cervicals, and the next thing I notice is she's got a little vertebral body rotation on the left at C6. So the, the chunky part of the vertebra is pushing a little bit out to the left at the bottom of the cervicals. Dogs have seven cervicals, so do we. Uh, so they have the same amount of neck bones. Interesting fact is giraffes do too. They just have taller vertebras, oh, wow. but they still have seven in their neck. I'm dying to work on a giraffe one day. I'm ready to go once I find one. Oh, wow. So here I'm going to just, got it. All right, and that was C6. Oh, oh where are you going? <laughs> She's like, she was like, wow. She's I'll like, that jump feels off. so great. <laughs> I'll jump off the table now. All right, this is good direction because I'm going to come down. So C6 is back in. I'm going to come down the back. I'm touching each little spinous. I'm in the thoracics. Got a little bit of a bend here, tiniest bit here where it's bending to the right through the thoracics. But there's no such thing as a perfectly straight spine. On humans or dogs, there's little idiosyncrasies, little deviations. Okay, so I found a little tender spot, and this is at the b bottom of the thoracics. I'm at T13, and I'm going to just come in and got it. I made a little click. Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. Now I'm into the lumbars. Here's L5. Got that one. She's letting me work. Now I'm on the sacrum. Here you can feel this little bump, Joy. So that little bump is um, the tuber sacralis, which is where the ilium and the sacrum meet. So the pelvis has three main bones, right? It has the left ilium, the right ilium, and the triangular bone in the middle is the sacrum. And so I'm, the bumps of the edges of the ilium where it meets the sacrum creates this little protuberance, a little elevated lift, and that's the tuber sacralis. And that's Latin, so it might be a word not familiar to everybody, but I'm in between the tuber sacralis because there's two of them, and that's where I'm gonna find the sacral base or the top of the sacrum. And that's a critical spot, and she's a little high on the left, so I'm going to do sacral base posterior left and just down, pretty much mostly from back to front, but a little bit high on the left. Got it. Is that okay, babe? Now I'm coming down, I'm at the, the apex of the sacrum, which is the pointy tip of the sacrum where it meets the tail, and I'm on the tail now, and I'm flexing the tail all the way to the right, and all the way to the left. And, and then I'm coming superior and inferior. And she has really good tail flexibility, so I'm not gonna work on the tail. But I'm feeling everything. Now I'm on the little hips. You have nice little hips. <laughs> and rubbing into the muscles around the hips. I'm on the glutes. Here's the hamstrings. Semi-membranosis, going lateral semi-tendinosis. The left hamstring feels nice. I'm picking up the leg now, flexing it, bringing it back into a pretty arabesque, which is like a little extension. And it doesn't really want to go back, so she's got some restriction there, so I'm gonna just hold this stretch for a minute. Here, hold her front so she doesn't trip. Good. And we'll let that one go. I held it for a second. This one comes back easier. Bring the hip up, feeling the little joints. So the left, it's funny because the left sacrum uh, or the left aspect of the base of the sacrum was high and we also have what now appears to be an anterior superior ilium which is, means that the, uh, the left part of the pelvis has moved towards the belly and shifted up a little bit. 
So I'm going to do a AS ilium pull. This one, because I'm grabbing in here, mm -hmm. would make, she might go Oop, when I pull it. But it's a really good one because it'll balance out the leg and then the leg should drift up. So what I'm feeling on the right side is here. The right side comes up, no problem. But the left side, here I'm trying to do this, the left side is hesitant. So I'm going to do this little pull where I get on the edge of the tubercoxi and pull. I didn't get it, so let me do it again. Got it. All right. Now we recheck the extension. She licks those lips every time you get yeah. it. <laughs> and look at the leg come all the way. Wow, even more. Mm, wow. So where I just got some range of motion there, probably another 20 degrees more. Um, on her chest, you could feel that little fatty lump. Did you ever feel it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's most likely a lipoma, which is a benign little fatty cyst. Humans get them quite a bit, so do dogs. Do you feel it? It's right on the right pec. Yes, I felt it. Yeah. Yes, we've had that checked. Yeah, and it's benign. It's mm -hmm. no big deal. Yes. Just not great when you're wearing a bikini. <laughs> so she probably was like... We were just at the beach last week. Did she hide... She you know, didn't actually. Did she wear a one piece or did she do the cane? <laughs> she had a one piece and her little goggles. Okay, so I'm coming down the back again. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm looking at her little face. I'm looking at her eyes. I'm looking for any flickering. I can see a lot of information in the eyes on horses. They move the ears. Dogs don't do so much communication with the ears as horses do. But the eyes tell me a lot. And look at this right there. It's a spot, watch. I'm gonna come down, you watch too, Joy. As I come down, I hit this one spot in her eye, right, it'll mm -hmm. blink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Her eye here, look at mine. It gets tension. Mm -hmm. So here, I'll get the tension spot again, right. That's the spot. Mm -hmm. There it goes, that's the spot. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust it. I am on T11 and it's slightly left. Ooh, that one clicked. Yeah, I just heard that. <laughs> yeah, that one clicked. Okay, let's recheck it and see if she gets a relaxation. She's already licking, which is nice. She has a little parasympathetic nervous system response where she's letting go of the stress. And let me, here, let me move your hair out of the way. Boo, 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 boo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the bad spot I just adjusted, and it should be fine now. It's already in, which is nice. Yeah. You want to take a look at Dr. Tim? Just miss your eye. Come on, come on. Be a good girl. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's good. Plus, I feel it's in. So now I'm going to just check this little arm. Good. What a beauty. <laughs> She's so sweet. She travels with me. She mm -hmm. has her uh, Euro passport. Really? Yeah. She's like a frequent flyer? She is. Oh, and there's the right, the right arm. We're going to be going to Mount Rushmore soon. Really? Yeah. Okay, I got a little kiss. Did you see I snuck a kiss in? I can't help it. <laughs> so now bring your nose to her chest and her nose to the sky. And another little kiss. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to rub her shoulders a little bit. Gonna rub her a little back, rub her hips. Let's turn to the camera one more time. Let's we'll see if she can help me set her up that way. And I'm gonna do a little facial traction where I come in like this. I do this to horses sometimes. And, and dogs and cats and people like this. It's just relaxing. So let's try that. Let's do that. Pick your little head up and let's do some facial traction. It's just to relax and wind up. There you go. So everybody take a breath in. I'm just going to hold this for a second. Okay, thanks for coming in today, letting me work on you. How is that today? Say it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I can tell she's definitely like releasing tension. Yeah. I can see it. Thanks for saying hello and coming in. <laughs> so I think everybody should leave her a comment and let her know how lovely she is. Yes. And she likes. Say thank you, everyone. Find comments. For sitting in on me. And she tried her best today. She's been brave, right? All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Goodbye. So after having Dr. Doug work, 
Uh, I noticed an immediate change in Carmela. Her entire demeanor is lifted. Her spirits, um, she has been in pain and, and just very roamy, achy. I immediately see um, her lighter and she's more agile. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and I'm just so happy um, because, you know, we love our animals. She's been with me. She's like my buddy. Uh, she is my bestie and I want her to be as comfortable as possible. Um, and she deserves it. And yeah, I'm just very happy. Thank you.